Hello everyone, it's Al Nigren here. I'm the executive director and the curator of the New Jersey Film Festival. I've been running the festival for 37 years, proud to say, and we're back the fall of 2018 with a wonderful lineup of films from around the world. We selected 22 films out of 507 entries that were submitted from all over, and we'll be showing those off between September 14th through October 7th on select Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evenings. There'll also be additional programming in October. There's three free screenings. Uh, two of them are courtesy of the Confucius Institute of Rutgers University. We'll be doing two uh, screenings of films for, that are Chinese language. We also have another free screening that's called Moving Words that's also uh, free and open to the public. And I'll be mentioning some of that information to you in a second. And what I'd like to do is give you an overview of the rest of the program. Our opening night program is on Friday, September 14th. We'll be screening two wonderful films. Whoever Was Using This Bed by Andrew Mark Kotako, he's from Australia. And this film features an all-star cast. It has Jean-Marc Barr, Radha Mitchell, and Jane Birkin, who are uh, starring in a film that was adapted from a short story by Raymond Carver. And this is a film where a husband and wife are woken in the dead of night by a mysterious phone call, and it triggers all sorts of reactions that um, help them or make them question their own existences and their relationships, their fears and their desires. That's the opening short film. The feature film is by Michael Gallagher. He's from Beverly Hills, California. It's called Funny Story, and it's a tragic comedy about the ties that bind us. It's a, a film where a neglectful father comes and crashes his daughter's vacation and the interaction between the two is really amazing. Michael Gallagher's films are really, really highly regarded, and Funny Story has made its way through the festival circuit and is highly acclaimed. You should come and check out this program, which is being co-sponsored by one of our main sponsors, which is the Cinema Studies program at Rutgers University. Then on Saturday, September 15, three films that are kind of creepy. And we'll have two of the filmmakers here on as part of our filmmaker interview series over the next two weeks. The program includes Soot by Drake Woodall. He's from Brooklyn, New York. And It's a Mess by Frank Pritzi, who's from uh, Princey from New York, New York, and then The Luring by Chris Wells, and he's from Brooklyn, New York as well. These three films, uh, you'll get more information on the filmmaker's interview, but they, they would be a perfect Halloween lineup, and I highly recommend you come and check them out. All the filmmakers will be there to do a Q&A, as well as some of the cast and crew. Then, on Sunday, September 16th, we have a series of short films, mostly animation films, um, followed by a documentary called My Tourette's, which is by Alessandro Molatore. He's from Mexico City, Mexico. And this film deals with Tourette's syndrome. And it's a very compassionate documentary that follows five individuals who are struggling with the symptoms of Tourette's and how they're able to overcome them. It's a very uplifting film and one of the most interesting documentaries on the disease I've ever seen. This film is being co-sponsored by the Office of Disability Services at Rutgers University. And um, the short films are really quite amazing. One of my favorites is called High Five the Cactus by Christopher Allen Thomas. He's from Philly, uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And it's just a wacky uh, stop motion animation. Um, and it looks like a lot of love went into the film. Also, the judges really, really liked Broken Lullaby, which is by a filmmaking team from Hoboken, New Jersey, Bill McGarvey and Stella Rosen. It's about musical notes that come to life. You should check out our, our, our website at njfilmfest.com, and you can get description and blurbs about all the films as well as some pictures uh, so you can see the movies that we're showing on this evening. There's just too many to talk about at this point, but they're all wonderful. Then on Friday, oh, September 21st, two crazy films. One is called Sac de Mer, which is uh, in French, and I won't translate it for you, but it's a really funny, kooky comedy about Maisel Mankiewicz, a very unlucky Jewish girl who's trying to find love in New York City. Uh, the film is really, really funny and highly recommended. Our jury was so loud laughing at this film while it was playing, I could hear them all the way down the hallway. So hopefully you'll like it too. Uh, the film is directed by Greg Cher Cherchak. 
sorry if I mispronounced your name. You mispronounced your name, Greg. He's from New York, New York, and uh, the feature film is called You Go to My Head by Dimitri Declare. He's from Ghent in Belgium. He's going to be flying across the pond to come and join us for our film screening, and uh, he's going to be doing a Q&A, so please come and join us for this really great film, which was shot in the Sahara Desert. A woman is abandoned after a mysterious car accident, and she's scooped up by this man who invents the story that they're a husband and wife. It's really a crazy film. There's really a lot of twists and turns in this great, great movie. Cinematography is just amazing. The acting is terrific. And Dimitri is going to be on hand to do the Q&A. So make sure you come and check out that film on Friday, September 21st. Then on Sunday, September 23rd, a program that's called Love, Work, and Knowledge, The Life and Trials of William Reich is by Glenn Orkin and Kevin Hinchy. Uh, and they're from New York, New York. And this is the a documentary about Dr. William Reich, who was a prominent Austrian psychiatrist, who was an outspoken anti-Nazi, and um, the film documents his journey to the United States and how his books were burned uh, by the Nazis. Uh, there'll be a really amazing post-screen panel, um, panel discussion afterwards with Professor James Strick, as well as Professor Joseph Heckman and Tom DeFernando, and they'll be talking about the film afterwards. So come and check it out on Sunday, September 23rd. Then on Friday, September 28th, The Kingdom, How Fungi Made Our World by Anna Maria Talas. She's also from Australia. Everything you ever needed to know about fungi is really an amazing documentary, very beautiful as well. And then the uh, follow-up documentary, a, do a double bill feature, Rodents of an Unusual Size by Quinn Costello and Chris Metzler and Jeff Springer. They're from San Francisco. Um, this is about these huge swamp rats that exist in Louisiana, and they're ruining the environment, and it's how the townspeople from this Louisiana swampland <laughs> go to battle with these rats. It's really a crazy film. Hope you'll join us. It's being sponsored by the Rutgers University School of Environmental and Biological Sciences Honors Program. And uh, there should be some filmmakers there for that screening as well, Friday, September 28th. Rounding the bend on our competition films, we have three great movies on Friday, October 5th, Let Mercy Come by Andrew Serban and Patiri in the Promised Land by Paige Cooper Anderson. These two films deal with immigrants and immigration. That's a kind of subtle theme that we have running through the competition films. And given the current climate in the United States and how we're dealing with immigrants, they're very poignant and very important. The feature film is JFK, The Last Speech by Bester Cram, and it fo focuses on JFK's l the last speech that he gave prior to his assassination. It also is paying homage to the poet Robert Frost. And this film also deals with immigration and is a, a must-see. The director, Bester Cram, will be on hand to do a Q&A. And this film program is being co-sponsored by the Rutgers University American Studies Department. So come and join us for that program on Friday, October 5th. Rounding the bend for our competition films, Sunday, October 7th, we have two wonderful films. We'll have the filmmakers on hand for the final film we'll be showing, which is called Grandmother Told Grandmother which is a film about the plight of Ukrainians during World War II and how they found refuge in the United States. And then the short film prior to that is Eli by Colin Gerard. Um, those 22 films are up for best feature, best documentary, best short film, and we'll be announcing those the day after that screening, which is on October 8th on our social media sites. But we have some other programs as well. We'll be doing a series of American experimental films on Thursday, October 11th, and our other space, which is the Ruth Adams Building, room 001 at 6 p.m. But all of our competition films and most of our screenings take place in our state-of-the-art facility, which is Voorhees Hall, room 105, located at 71 Hamilton Street on the Rutgers University campus in New Brunswick, New Jersey. All of our screenings, with, with the exception of three of them, which are free, are $12 and $10 
uh, $12 general, $10 for students and seniors. We'll also be doing a series of programs that are going to be focusing on the winners of our Summer New Jersey International Film Festival. So if you missed some of those films, we'll be showing the ones that won best of prizes, best animation, best short, best feature. And you can check out what those are at our website, which again is njfilmfest.com. Well, that just about does it for the overview. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you'll stay tuned the next three weeks for our filmmaker interview series. And thank you so much to East Brunswick Television, who have been our sponsors for over two decades. Also, thank you to the Middlesex County Department of Arts and History. They've been sponsors for 27 years. And of course, thank you so much to the Rutgers University Cinema Studies Program. We're housed at the university thanks to them. Thanks so much again. Have a great day.